Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Cancer, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Cancer. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Cancer, this is a collective tarot reading session for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading for today, this is for the Cancer sign. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Cancer, please, okay? We'll pick up love, career, money, and general situationship. This is a reading for the Cancer sign. Um, in today's reading, we will be looking into your overall energy. And then the second part of the reading is that we'll move along with, um, you know, looking into what are the opportunities, um, offers, you know, people, um, relationship that will connect with you in the next 3, 7, 10 days. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the guided message for the Cancer sign, please? Oh, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, you've got the Nine of Swords. And let us start your reading. So you're starting the reading with the Five of Wands. You've got the Tower card, you've got the Empress card in here. Um, it looks like for some of you, I'm kind of picking up that you might walk away or you have already like you would draw, walk away. The Five of Wands is this conflict. Five of Wands, it's conflict. It's a vibe where I want to work with you, but I don't know how you would like. Like The Five of Wands is always like a conflict of interest. You want to work with each other. You like each other. You love each other. You want to be with each other. But your language of love or your technique, your ways of working, your ways of communication, your ways of loving each other, it's different. One could be introvert, one could be extrovert. You know, it's like opposite attract. Like you're opposite and you're trying to attract each other, okay? Um, I feel a sense of impatient and an energy of I want to move forward, but I'm feeling impatient right now and boom, you've got the tower card in here. So it could be, it could lead, it could be a breakup or this is definitely like a fighting card, you know, the five of wands, yep, three of cups. You could be having a misunderstanding with someone you're dating, someone you're dating, getting to know. It could also be like friends, but it's not connected to family. There's a misunderstanding, a fight, a quarrel, a conflict. I'm also picking up the word jealousy or nagging or competition around friendship or romantic in here. And it looks like you withdraw, you gave up, or it was already dismantled, or things are disengaged. Yeah, Prince of Pentacles, it feels like you block them, or they block you, but there is unsent message. Like, there is unsent message, and that unsent message, they will send that to you. So there was supposed to be something that they would like to say or do, it was pending, it was in the draft, they will eventually send the unsent message or say something that they weren't able to say because it's healing. Whatever in the recent past or in the past event, it was meant to happen for you to heal, for them to heal and to really figure things out individually right now. It could be a breakup, but there's definitely like a falling out of love, falling apart, falling out of interest towards something, towards somebody. This is your current energy. This is healing. This is moving on from the petty quarrel or from being petty or from being immature. It is healing and it's looking good. Okay. It's looking good. It feels like there's still a heartbeat in here. That's why I'm kind of picking up that they will send a message, unsent message, underway, underway message underway offer, underway attention. Something is on its way to you, Cancer. Now, the second part of the reading is that let us see what's coming towards you. The world card 
the seven of cups, the king of swords. Something tells me that you kind of need to finalize if you would like to move on or not to move on or to apply for a job or to stay with your job. Like there's a part of this reading that emotionally you're confused on why or where. There's a part of you that emotional conflict on a specific thing that you would like to do or that you would like to take an action in here. If you leave the job, someone is going to be sad. If you move on, a lot of people will be sad. Yeah, the Prince of Wands. Um, like something, I don't know, I'm kind of picking up cancer that you feel guilty leaving something, someone, somebody. The Three of Swords. And the Hierophant card in here. If you move on, someone, somebody is going to be sad. If you move to the other side or something to do with leaving something and moving on to a next venture, a next thing, because you're committed. But the thing is, if you move on, if you replace your job, replace somebody, someone, they will be sad. They, they will be sad. You will be sad. But eventually, you will be happy again. Three of Cups. Because you're due, the, the Hierophant card, you're due for a huge change. Like the universe is giving you the flexibility if you want to stay complacent, stay. Okay? You will be surrounded by the same, you know, people, the same energy, the same vibe. Um, you will like it. You will enjoy it. No harm. However, if you transform, if you move on, you will also enjoy it. Because something tells me that you're very comfortable. If you look at the Hierophant card, he is sitting under the three and is very comfortable. So something tells me wherever you are in job, in career, you might not want to move right away. Or there's a part of you that I'll take it slow. I'm comfortable in here and someone is going to be sad. Or if I leave this, I will be sad or someone is going to be sad. Like somehow you're attached to something, to somebody in here. But the universe is also giving you the flexibility that if you move on, you know, if you look for a job outside of your company, you will meet a lot of new friends. You will go back to dating and getting to know. And also, your money is going to be upgraded. Actually, if you find a new job, if, a, if you find a new job, if, a find a, if you find a new job, if you, if you find a new job, if you find a new place, your life will completely be upgraded. Cancer, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a Nine of Swords in here. I feel like this is a block. Um, Because you're okay where you are. I can really feel like you're okay for now where you are. And somehow, I feel like you're enjoying the next two to three, four weeks. And you're okay. But if you want to transform your life and have a completely set of new friends new experience, new pay. This is a major upgrade in terms of pay. Look for a new job. Nine of Swords, yep, there is a cause in terms of moving to something new. A new routine, adjustment, getting out of your you know, comfort zone, relearning something, but also money new friends so there's pros and cons but the universe is giving you the flexibility you you can decide whenever you're ready but for now it looks like you're okay wherever you are but the universe is also open for you to come and search for something new yep eight of pentacles you know it looks like the ball is in your court to stay or to go yeah the magician card anytime you're ready to move like if you decided to apply the next three to four, six weeks, you will get a job completely upgraded. But if you, you know, wanted to stay for a pentacles, that's okay too. You are supported and love where you are. Where you are, it's safe for now. At some point, you might crave for some new appetite. And that is where you're going to new, you're going to look for a new job and it will transform your life 360. So if you want to be adventurous and you want to put the color in your life and more, I would say more people, experience, look for a new job. 
So this is your reading. Thank you so much, Cancer, for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please click the bell and click subscribe. And um, for private reading and for the merchandise, everything is processed in the website, Cancer. And I will see you soon again, guys. And your, your, your love message, your love reading, it's going to be tomorrow. Thank you for your support. And you have a great week. Bye-bye.